It's like, I don't use bleach in my house. Why? Because it's a thyroid disruptor. Even the British Thyroid Association says if you've got a thyroid issue, you can have a look online, NHS, avoid bleach, using bleach, because it affects your thyroid. So I've got a little girl living at my house who is my child, and (laughs) I do not want her to have a thyroid issue if I can help it. So bleach, I always put them in my toilets. My mum came the other day and put it in my sink because she was like, you need to put bleach in there. And also, someone came around and put them in my flower pot because apparently bleach is good to preserve flowers. Oh, so So this is another one of those videos that is, in my opinion, confusing hazard and risk. Uh, Hazard is, this is always the best analogy to use, in my opinion. I didn't invent it, but I heard and I love it. Hazard is like a shark in in a... uh, in a tank, water tank at the aquarium, right? The shark is a hazard. It has the potential to kill you, to rip you to pieces. The risk of dying from that shark, however, is zero if you're not in the water tank with it, right? Getting in the water tank with the shark is a high risk. So you always have to think in terms of hazard and risk when you're talking about anything health-related like that, like toxins or chemicals or anything. Um, in this case, what she's talking about is that of that bleach, chlorine bleach, is a particular hazard in that chlorine is similar to iodine, right? And the your thyroid gland needs to needs iodine to make thyroid hormone. Chlorine can get taken up instead of iodine. It could basically displace or block the uptake of iodine, uh, and so it reduces your the amount of iodine available to your thyroid and can reduce its production of thyroid hormone. That's how it disrupts your thyroid function. So that's the potential hazard, right? That is the potential mechanism by which it can disrupt thyroid function. The question is, is using bleach as a household product a risk? Does it get enough chlorine into your system to... to functionally disrupt your thyroid for it to be biologically significant. A lot of things happen that are just not biologically significant. They won't have any measurable impact on your life and you don't need to worry about them. You can't avoid all hazard. Living is a hazard, right? You're constantly surrounded by things that are potentially a hazard. You have to put everything in the context of of risk. So what tells you about risk? Clinical studies, right? Not just basic science. Basic science tells you about the hazard. Clinical studies tell you about the risk. So there, there's essentially mixed results if you look at the clinical research. Some show there may be a risk if you have a, a significant enough exposure. Others show that there really isn't much of a risk. So it's not been, it hasn't been definitively answered. But the bottom line is that if you're just using bleach as you know, just for normal household use, um, and you're careful, right? You don't get it on your skin, you wear gloves, you don't, you know, breathe it in right over the thing, right over the container, you're fine, right? They that the risk of that is is probably way too low for it to be of any concern. If you are somebody who works as a cleaner, like that's your profession and you're being exposed on a daily basis, that's a completely different situation, right? There, the, the risk of exposure and therefore having it be significant is much higher, and you may need to wear a face mask, you know, wear, you know take ex- extra measures to avoid exposure to the bleach or use alternative cleaning products to minimize your exposure. If you're working with it in a, a laboratory setting, that's why they have hoods, you know, that carry away the fumes to to minimize exposure. But just like having bleach in your house that you use just for everyday stuff is is not, uh, you know, there is no evidence to show that that's a risk. Um, And so you don't have to like completely remove all bleach, you know, from your existence. Uh, But that's what they're talking about. It's the chlorine in the bleach. There is a potential hazard there, probably not a risk for everyday use. For more repeated exposures, that's an open question, then you probably should take steps to minimize your exposure. 